What is going on guys? Um, I'm here back in my garage, again with the Outlander. Got my little Renegade here, my girl's Renegade 1000. And of course, I got my uh, Turbo Element in the works right there. And then uh, I also got the Forerunner back there. Um, so today's video, we're actually gonna be finally starting on the Can-Am because I broke the rear output shaft on the transmission uh, in plant bamboo a couple weeks ago. Probably, I would say actually like a couple months ago when I did the, the first bounty hole with the, the bounty hole that I won. Uh, I won the bounty hole, but then I kept riding in plant bamboo, got into some pretty nasty mud and uh, broke the transmission, um, the rear output shaft actually. So today uh, I'm gonna pretty much remove it, remove the old transmission uh, I know I can replace that rear output shaft, but my friend uh, back in Miami, he has a transmission from a 570, which actually has lower gear ratio, and it supposedly it's uh, it swaps in to this, uh, you know, the short bikes, the 570, 650, and 850 Can-Am Outlanders. They're all the, they use the same transmission. So I'm just going to swap that one in, possibly fix up the other one, maybe sell it. I'm not sure, or just keep it as a spare, but... Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, hopefully she's ready to ride soon. I haven't rode her in quite a while. So yeah, let's do it. Alrighty guys, so I am uh, a couple moments in. Um, I took out this whole side over here, a bunch of connectors. I took out the shift linkage up here. Um, also the draft shaft from the back, I was having some issues. I couldn't take out this piece back here, but uh, I think I could take it out the transmission. Look how tiny the transmission is. It's literally this piece right here. Um, so on this side, I just took out a couple of things. I took out the little uh, four by four actuator. And uh, on this side over here, I already took out the primary and secondary clutch. And look how dirty that is. This thing has an oil leak. Look at that. And it's coming off right on that buddy right there, son. So that is actually the adjuster for the timing chain. Um, so kind of know how to do it because I did it on the Renegade when I messed up the head on the other one. But, um, yeah, so since I'm already taking all this out, I'll probably change out the seal here, change out that seal, and then we're good. Look at all the space I have, even with the with the floorboards. That's why it's nice to have these floorboards because you have so much sp space to play with. But, um, yeah, that's the tranny. I don't think I have to take out the headers, the exhaust, but we'll see. But for tonight, I think that's enough work. But, uh, yeah. That is about it. Oh man. And uh, this is some other items I took out. Obviously the primary, the clutches and stuff, the cover. So um, yeah, that wraps it up for today. I'm gonna continue probably tomorrow. So let's do it. What is going on guys? So today is the next day. Um, I took out the bike over here so I can give it a little bit of a clean. You saw how much oil that it had yesterday. So I took it out now, degreased it and got it much cleaner than it was so I can work on it better. Um, I also took out the 
the wrap, the heat wrap that was on it because it was pretty much shot, as you can see. So I'm gonna see what I do because that's the second time I heat wrap it, but I guess this thing is just running so lean that it just burns everything. So I think what I'm gonna do is send in the ECU, possibly get a reflash. I think Dino Jet does it, but mine is a 2017, so I know you can you can't just add the little the little computer that you add now for the new ones. I think I don't know I don't know how it works. I haven't really seen it, but uh, here she is. Um, pretty much the only thing left to do is I have to take out the the exhaust, at least on that side. Um, so I can take out the tranny. That's the tranny right there, but uh, she really won't come off because there's barely any space to move it. But uh, yeah, look, she's a lot cleaner than what she was yesterday. But yeah, so until next video. All right, guys. So after some uh, nice tweaking and stuff, I, was, I had to take out the exhaust and uh, the front hole for the engine, holding the engine, and she is out, boy. She is finally out. Hell yeah. It wasn't that bad, um, but uh, yeah. Here she is. Here's the bad tranny. So the rear output shaft failed on this. So I don't wanna make so much oil. Crocs, that's the essential mechanic work boot. Look, as you can see the inside, let's see if it, I don't know if you can, right there it spins. See right there, it's kind of, not slipping. No, you can't tell there. But that shaft is messed up inside. But uh, yeah, so this is the old one. The new 570, I'm gonna go pick it up this weekend. And uh, that's it for this video. I mean, that's how to remove a transmission off of a XMR, Can-Am, 850. I think it's the same for 650, 570. They're all the same, the short frames. Oh, there she is. She looks all empty now, a little skeleton. Oh yeah. But time for that new tranny. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, so. Yep, that, that's it for this video. Make sure to comment, I guess, on something. And then uh, like the videos, subscribe. And uh, yeah, here she is. So see you guys until next time.